Welcome to Project Ego Proctor. As you can see, I do a lot of my work with Loom. I travel on a bicycle with a trailer, currently across Texas, looking for places to stop, possibly do some work, and then advance my research in the global mythology and advances in technology that together can help change our definition of what it means to be human and our role as a provider for safety and security for the ecosystem of the planet. My name is Joshua Roberts. This is my Project Ego Proctor. From a technology perspective, we have RepRap. RepRap is a free desktop 3D printer. It prints plastic objects and it can also print a lot of other useful stuff, especially its own pieces. Now it's free because it's open source. Phylos Bioscience. This group has secured public domain hemp and marijuana seeds for use in growing for many different purposes. From here, you have an open source genome to grow hemp. Hemp can be used to make bioplastics. Bioplastics made out of hemp and other plant-based materials are already being used successfully as 3D printing filaments. The only problem is none of those 3D printing filaments, filaments is also an open source product. By producing an open source hemp bioplastic 3D printing filament, we can secure a production environment that is not only self-replicating, but we can grow most of its components ourselves and use recycled materials for the rest. As you can see, several videos have been made using the 3D printing filament and several companies and discussions are talking about the benefits of 3D printing and hemp. But I don't see very many discussions about using open source seeds to create an open source bioplastic to be used with an open source self-replicating 3D printer because everybody's too focused on making money. Which is fun, it's a game. Part of the research of Project Ego Proctor will show us where money came from, why interest is such a convoluted scheme, and why the only way to get out of it is to give a production system to humanity that allows them to have clothing and food and shelter without the use of money. 3D printed solar panels are already a reality but they're not being open sourced because everybody wants to try to find a way to make money. Under the rules of the game that we live in, money is important, but it's not required for survival and it's not required for technological development. That's a myth. Again, Project Ego Proctor is about dismantling the myths of reality. Much well, like Alan Watts, just with more attitude. Three D printed vert vertical farming. If it's not already a reality, it won't be very hard to make it a reality. It's just it's largely plastic scaffolding to contain water, and then systems to maintain that water. So why not print it out of a self-replicating three D printing system that uses a hemp bioplastic? I can't think of a better way to go green with vertical farming than that. And similarly, we can already print textiles with 3D printing. And we can print houses and components for houses and many other tools with 3D printing. And all of that can be done with hemp. We can change the world with hemp. So follow me on my journey as I build my Patreon page for Project Ego Proctor. And let's see what we together can develop. All I need 
is your support in this endeavor. So please, be a patron. And as the community grows, I can evolve the tiers. So thank you for welcoming me to the Patreon community. And let's see what we together can produce.